Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with a brand new light sent to us from our friends over at B Topper. This is the RGBW wash and zoom moving head. Uh, this thing has a built-in wash, a built-in zoom, and it also has derbies, which you guys know I'm not a fan of, but this one is very different. Let's take a look at it. Guys, so here it is. Here is the brand new moving head from B Topper. Uh, they sent this over to us for a full review, an honest review of our take on this light. Um, it was boxed very well. There was no damage to it. Uh, this came from China, so um, it had a ways to go. But as you can see here, this is the moving head, full rotation. You've got a great LCD display here with an up-down menu and an enter button. Let me show you the back of this thing. This is what I absolutely love about this moving head. It has an on and off fixture. Most moving heads do not have that. You always have to unplug them from the wall or unplug them from the actual fixture, which is a pain in the butt, especially if you have it up on trussing. Um, you've got your power con in and out and your DMX in and out. And you've also got your fuse right here on the back. So full grip handles on it. This thing is very light. I need to read exactly how, how much this weighs. But as you can see here, it does have the mounting bracket uh, holes on the bottom. So very, very um, lightweight fixture, big um, exhaust here on the back where your fans will be running. Um, but overall, very quiet when I turn it, just the usual mechanical sound that you would get from any moving head. But this thing doesn't weigh anything. So they claim that this has 740 watt RGBWs, and I'm reading off the box here, four in one zoom and beam and wash BI is what it's known as. The official model number is LM0740. So it's got the zoom and it's got a derby built in effect, which you guys know I'm not a fan of derbies. I actually took my Chave um, gig bar ILS apart and took the derbies off and added more washes to it or more par washes to it. Um, but from what I've seen so far on this light, it is a different type of derby. So let's get to it. Let's power it up. We're going to use an old school controller today. Um, I had it here with me. I'm sure I can program this thing pretty easily and figure out what channel controls which options on this light. So let's power it up. Let's play with it a little bit. And then I'm going to show you on this back wall here in my storage what this light looks like. Hey, so let's take a look at the LCD display on this moving head. So just to give you uh, an you know, some information on the light. The voltage is 100 volts to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. The rated power on this light is 350 watts. The light source comes from 740 watt RGBW 4-in-1 LEDs with a color temperature of 2800K to 8500K. Uh, the LED expected lifetime is about 50,000 hours and it has a great color display as you can see here just from the um, where it's telling me what standard channel I'm on for DMX and you can control it DMX 512 sound control or auto run so I just want to show you here you've got your up you've got your down your menu and your enter you can go to your menu button and here you can see all your choices you can see your DMX address which if you hit enter um, you can select all your addresses that you want to be on fixture DMX mode right now it's on standard um, and you can go to HSI mode which is hue saturation and intensity so this lets you do a lot of color mixing I would just leave it on standard for me run mode is DMX or sound or host um, we're gonna go to pan invert so of course what you can do is you can invert it depending on where you have it like sometimes I would set my DMX or I'm sorry my moving heads on the left and right side of the room to me, so I would need to pan invert these. Uh, tilt invert, same thing. Uh, no signal, hold and clear. I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure it explains it in the book, but I'm not gonna get into that. And then of course, your sensitivity. Um, this would be for your sound mode. So you can go all the way down to uh, one and go all the way up to 10 which I don't think I would ever have it on 10 just because it would probably be going crazy. Um, but yeah, you can get out of the menu, but that's basically it. 
Um, very colorful display, very easy to understand, very easy to read. Um, and the buttons are just, it's just four buttons. That's it, up, down, menu, and enter. So it lets you decide um, where you wanna go with that. So let me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this. And I just wanna give you a close up of the back, what we were talking about earlier. And as you can see here, you've got your on and your off switch, which I love. Um, most lights do not give you that. You got your power con in, power con out, your DMX in and your DMX out for leaking, linking and your um, fuse would be right here. I can't tell you what size fuse that is. I didn't take it out. I didn't want to mess with it. Um, serial number is on the top of the light. Very simple light, guys. Um, nothing really to it. So before we go any further, I just want to kind of show you what all comes in the box, right? Obviously the light fixture itself. Um, I'm a huge fan of these. I never had moving heads that had these. I always wish I did. I always had the old school American DJ lights, but these are the actual ones that lock in underneath the light. And then you can bolt them down to either a uh, trussing or actually hang them upside down from a, a trussing rafter. Um, comes with your usual user manual, right? Tells you all the zoom functions, effects, the channels that you should be on. Uh, comes with a short DMX cable as all moving heads do. And one thing I'm not a fan of, this came with a three foot power con cable. I mean, I understand we all have extension cords, but I really wish that these companies would at least give you like a 15 footer just because that's kind of the length that we need from a trussing, right? Um, instead of using extension cords. So, okay, once again, let's fire it up. Let's see what this thing does. All right, guys, so right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you right here, I'm using the old school analog controller with this, I'm using the Elation uh, DMX operator. I have the Wolf Mix, I just haven't gotten a chance to play with it yet. But this is pretty easy to figure out. Um, I will tell you this, <clears throat> with the old school Elation, we've got our full pan, and it's very smooth as you can see. Also got our full tilt, which goes all the way back as you can see there. And guys, this is very quiet. This is a very quiet moving head. You really don't hear anything. The thing what you're hearing here is the AC running. But as you can see, that is very smooth. Um, full brightness. So I'm gonna see if I can pan this around, tilt this to the back wall here so you can get an idea. I'm gonna turn off my storage lights. But that, I mean, I'm about 10 feet from the wall right here. So this is a huge wash. Now I will tell you that B Topper just sent me one of these. So I won't really be able to use this at an event just because I would never just use one moving head. But that is a great wash right there. And as you can see, I'm gonna come down. This is the derby effect that I was telling you about. So as you can see, it's kind of going through the motion. I'm not a huge derby fan, but this is something that I've never seen before. This is a different type of derby. So let's go ahead and bring that back down. Actually, I think it's this one. So we're gonna bring this back to a wash. And as you can see, I can slowly bring in, look at this derby like this honeycomb effect. And you can control the speed, but look at this. Not only do you have a wash in this light, but you have like a multi prism derby type wash. So if, as I bring this up clearer and clearer, you can see that it focuses in on those derby boxes. So I went from like a honeycomb, if you look back at this, like a honeycomb spread wash on a derby. And I can focus this in and you can just imagine how awesome this would look on a dance floor. So as I bring that back to speed, this is what I love about it. It has that zoom in and out effect. Slow it down, speed it up. And you can actually build a hype show with this. Look at this thing going crazy. I love that. Go back, bring it to a full slow speed. Look at that, I'm centered right there. Let 
And you can just see how cool that looks. Faster, slower. Change the colors of it. Go through green. I'm gonna change the colors and go a little faster. Red. Let me see if I can slow it down. And like I said, it's real sensitive. So like if you have a slow dance, you could actually put that on there and change the colors. Back to green, red. Let me see if I can find, there's blue, like a yellow. There we go, there's the purples. Back to like a aqua color. I like that, like a fuchsia. I am going to focus this in and bring that honeycomb effect back. Look at that. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's almost like a full wash honeycomb. If you look, as I bring it back up, it's gonna get sharper and sharper. Wow. And I'm telling you, I wish you guys could hear this. I'm gonna go faster. So I did notice that when I, when I make the prism go faster, I thought somebody was playing like music in the storage over. I don't know if you can hear that. There's like a little noise. And I guess that's just because the, the light is working overtime, right? But check that out. Let me bring it back to a slower speed. It's very sensitive. And then bring it more to a wash. Look at that. Change the colors throughout the night. Wow. I'm sure you can hear that noise that it's putting out. I'm not sure what that is. Let me focus this in, make it sharper. And I'm pretty sure if you wanted to just have that kind of fade in and out on the dance floor throughout the night, you could change colors. I would really have to program this light because there are so many functions on an analog board that you just no way you'd be able to go from from A and B banks to be playing with this thing all night. There's the focus. I love that. And just kind of have it pulsate throughout the night just to give it a good overall wash. I really like this light. And I'm not gonna try to blind you with it, but I want you to see the overall I mean, you could see the internal workings of this light. And it is actually rotating, guys. It's Love that. So as you see, I'm going back to that. Now we are in full darkness here at my storage. So you can see, and I know you can't see, but on the wall you might be able to tell, it is actually zooming in and that is what, what is what is creating that sharpness. Let me turn this back on. But that is what is creating that sharpness. And the head is actually moving in and out of the fixture. I love that.
That part is super smooth. I'm gonna slow this down. I'm gonna change colors. So there's not much to this light, guys. It is super simple. As you can see, the display timed out, which I love. That way there's not a bright white light shining during your event. But I am a huge fan of this light. And like I said, I'm 10 feet from that wall in my storage. So you can just imagine what this would do at 25, 30 feet, washed out two of them on a dance floor, rotating if you program them. So yeah, guys, um, in a nutshell, I'm a huge fan of the light. B-Topper, thank you so much for sending this light over. The colors are great. They're crisp. They're clear. I love that I can reverse the lights. I can slow them down. I really like that. I love that I can make them super focused, just like that. Or I can create a blurred wash like this look at that super sharp go through all the colors that red is really popping i know you won't be able to tell from um from the video you know what's crazy i don't think i've found a white and it says it's rgbw Keep going, we're going up through all the channels. Maybe that's white. Looks kind of whitish. I bet that's white. It's just that the walls are kind of like a silver gray color, so maybe it's throwing me off a little bit. But that might be white. But super smooth, um, rotating. Let me go back to A. I mean, super smooth head. Responds instantly, even though I'm using an analog board. Look at this wash on this wall, boom. That effect I love. I would never buy a moving head if it said that it had a derby in it, but this is definitely not a derby. So guys, that is the B Topper 40, what is it, seven of them, right? It's seven 40 watt RGBW four in one zoom beam and wash BI. It's the LM0740, absolutely love this thing. It's super quiet, all except for when you make um, the, the derbies and prisms go super fast. It it's almost sings a song, it's weird. It almost sings like a little Right there, you can hear it. So when I put it on super fast like that, it makes a super loud noise. I'm sure you can hear it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Thank you so much B Topper for sending me this light. I'm a huge fan. I absolutely love this moving head. I would love to use two of these at an upcoming wedding, program them, and let them scan the floor. Smash that like button, leave me a comment, and uh, if you're not a subscriber, we would love to have you. We got some more stuff being sent to us. I just learned last week, I got about two more emails from uh, two more companies that want us to review their products. So the B Topper, Moving Head, RGBW, LED, Wash, and Zoom. Guys, so let me know if you like this light. Do you like the effects that it does? Um, I know I didn't get to do a full show with it. Like I said, I have one of these moving heads, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link directly down in the description where you can pick up this exact light. And if you do pick up this light or two or three or four of them, I personally would love to see your light show and how you used it. Thanks again to B Topper for sending this over. We'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.